Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Philip Panarski here with the News 8 Live Desk. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, if you watched the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest over the 4th of July, one of the uh, most popular eating competitions in America, well, then you probably saw this man slated next to me down 52 hot dogs in just 10 minutes. James Webb is our guest today as he prepares for an exciting brand new eating competition that is set to debut here in Grand Rapids over the weekend. James, thank you so much for being here today. It really is an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity. Of course, absolutely. And you know, this contest is, of course, the Great American Blueberry Eating Championship. It's taking place at Belknap Park uh, this Saturday as part of the Beer City Open Pickleball Championship. So even more reason for people to head on out there this weekend. Um, James, what does it feel like to be a part of this inaugural competition? I'm assuming you'll probably like the change of pace from something filling like hot dogs to something healthy like 12,000 blueberries. Yeah, look, um, can I be honest with you? You got three out of the top four eaters in the world a brand new contest we're in grand rapids saturday lunchtime can it get much better honestly it's a privilege it's a privilege to be a part of it um i'm looking forward to it. i'm really excited right yeah no i think that's pretty much all the selling points you need right there but james uh the competition you know a few hours away really what is the process going to be for you kind of going into that is it a lot of rest uh some exercise maybe making a little bit of room in your stomach are you even going to plan on eating today uh just so you can really pack in as many blueberries as possible yeah to be honest um it's a combination of obviously i won't be eating so you know you want to rest but also you got to keep yourself busy because otherwise all you can do is think about food right um, look, being an Australian traveling around America, you guys have such great food on hand. So today I plan on keeping myself busy. So um, I don't want to stop and eat or, you know, think about food too much because tomorrow's going to be a big day. There's a there's a brand new world record on the line. Right now, hopefully you get to stick around just a little bit because there are some really great restaurants and really great food for you here, uh, waiting for you here in Grand Rapids. Um, but is there a number you're kind of aiming for or maybe a percentage or like a pound number maybe of just how many blueberries you're trying to hit? Is there a goal in mind? I know this is a new competition and there's a lot of question marks, but is there something in mind that you want to hit? Yeah, look, to be honest, I think with the caliber of eaters on, in the lineup, Obviously, you've got Pat Bertoletti, who's the latest Nathan's champion. Jeff Esper, arguably the best, definitely one of the best eaters ever. And myself, you know, three of the top four. So I, I believe it's going to be around the 15-pound mark. So I think to be competitive, you're going to have to be around the 15-pound mark in eight minutes. And uh, yeah, look, if I can get anywhere close to 15 pounds, I'll be a happy camper. The idea of somebody eating 15 pounds of blueberries in eight minutes is crazy. But if anybody's going to do it, James, I think you've got a pretty good shot. But in order to do that, you got to go in with a strategy. I don't want you to give anything away to any of the other competitors that might be watching or anybody else that might plan on entering or anything like that. But is there something or a strategy that maybe you've heard in the past or maybe you've done something in practice rounds to that might make this a little bit easier on you? I mean, we're just kind of interested in knowing a little bit of the background behind competitive eating. Yeah, look, I definitely look. I'll, I'll be honest, nothing to hide here. All the top all the top people usually have similar techniques. I think we're all going to go in with a similar strategy of keeping mess to a minimum. Uh, look, in, in, in a contest like, uh, obviously, blueberries are little and small and fidgety. So you want to get them from the bowl to your mouth as efficiently, as efficiently and as quickly as possible with as least mess as you can because, obviously, you drop a blueberry, it's rolling away. You know, you're not catching it you don't really have a second chance. So to be honest, uh, my plan is to get my head close to the bowl, use my big shovel hands to kind of shovel them into my mouth. And yeah, look, hopefully I can eat more than the person next to me. Well, we're definitely looking forward to that competition. Again, it is taking place at Belknap Park in Grand Rapids at noon. Uh, it's part of the Beer City Open Pickleball Championship. So plenty of reasons to head out there, as I mentioned. And James, you know, we really do appreciate you being here and kind of uh, answering some of our questions, getting us a little bit of an inside look at competitive eating. But for you, as somebody who is going to be competing, uh, visiting Grand Rapids uh, as an, a native Australian, I mean, why would you really recommend people come on out to Belknap Park this weekend, check out the competition, check out some pickleball, and really just having an all-in-all all fun day on Saturday? Well, look, first of all, like you said, I'm from Australia. So if an Australia, if an Australian is going to Grand Rapids, that's a good enough excuse for you guys to be there. But also, man, we've got three out of the top, sorry, we've got three out of the top four eaters. We've got five out of the top six. It's going to be a stacked lineup. There's going to be some crazy numbers thrown up. So 
man, if you want to have fun, obviously the pickleball is going on at the same time. So it's just going to be a packed day. And I mean, the weather's meant to be really nice. Um, it's going to be my first experience in Grand Rapids. So look, the more the merrier. Come down, have a laugh, take some photos. And look, man, get some blueberries on your shirt. All right, sounds good. James, thank you so much for being here. Again, highly recommend everybody possibly checking this out. You can find out more information right now in our weekend planner. But yeah, again, this is going to be the first ever Great American Blueberry Eating Contest. So history will be made in Grand Rapids this Saturday. James, thank you so much for stopping by once again. We really do appreciate it.